Hello, I'm Cody Schweitzer. I'm here today with Mike Kovzanski, Chief Executive Officer of Omidyar Network. Thanks for being here today, Mike. My pleasure, thank you. We're here to talk about your vision for the organization, the work you're focused on now, but first, let's talk a little bit about Omidyar Network as a whole. How do you describe the organization? Omidyar Network is a distinct entity, and it came out of the insight that Pam and Pierre Omidyar had uh, from founding eBay back in the late 90s and the early 2000s. And that insight was that change can come from anywhere. It can come from a not-for-profit, it can come from an academic, it can come from commercially invested startup. And so the animating thesis behind Omidyar Network has always been problem first, tool second, and pay attention to how you can make change. So that has shown up in the form of grants to not-for-profits or investments in early stage startups with a social impact thesis. And over the years, that means that we've put about a billion and a half dollars to work uh, in that manner. So in terms of foundations and social change organizations, you're a relatively young organization, but you've still been evolving and you've been working to change the way you work. And I know you have uh, some new areas of focus. Can you talk a little bit about that? Evolving is something that comes out of our Silicon Valley, Valley heritage. There's always this emphasis on understanding change and what's disrupting the world and, uh, and these sorts of things. And so we, taking a step back, looking at the environment the last couple of years, have said the world has really changed in dramatic ways. And it's no longer sufficient to tinker at the margins. That you really need to take a look at some of the upstream root causes and ideas and things that govern the way the, the, the world works. Uh, and try to address those. And so we landed on two things that emerged from our heritage as being Silicon Valley market-oriented uh, philanthropy. Uh, one which we call reimagining capitalism, so fixing the current parameters of the capitalist system that are clearly broken and not working. Uh, and two, what we call beneficial technology, so uh, making sure that technology lives up to its best self. Uh, in in short, making both uh, an economy that works for all and making technology that works for all. And in both of these focuses, you're working on so many different fronts in different ways. You're an organization that works differently from what some might think of as traditional philanthropy. Can you talk a little bit about that and how you might operate differently from other organizations? Yes, uh, we love having that flexibility and that we've had over the years and continue to push the boundaries of that flexibility. So we do, th we do three things. First, we make grants to not-for-profits or academic institutions or who are providing advocacy or service delivery or that sort of thing. Second, we invest in innovative startups with a social mission and a social component to it. And third, we are also looking at advocacy and policy work where we can uh, stretch, the, you know, stretch the boundaries of what's pol possible in terms of pushing the policy debate forward. So for instance, we invested last year in 2018 in a ballot initiative campaign in Maine uh, around home care because that's an issue that really matters to working uh, families uh, and that is a important category of a rising category of work itself for for many people uh, in across the economy. Well thanks Mike for sharing your vision for the organization and explaining the work you're doing now. Oh, it's my pleasure thanks for coming in.